Hello guys and girls, welcome back to another fun episode of Tom's Flair Bartending Tips. I'm on location, <laughs> exciting times. Uh, we are here at Morisco's Bar in Alvor in uh, Portugal, and they've kindly lent me the bar so I can film a video for you today. Mm. So, what I'm gonna show for you today is working flare moves that you can use in a bar with a tight space. Like this has got no space whatsoever. Literally, I can't go any further than that, and I can't go any further than that. Like, by both legs are touching either side of the bar right now. Literally, you have to walk up and down the bar like this. Now, what you'll notice with all these moves, all the moves are basically waist up because you can't swing anything around around here. Oh, you see? Things just are gonna hit all over the place. So, you wanna make sure all the moves are happening within this vicinity right here. Pretty much how TGI Friday's bartenders used to bartend many years ago because they didn't have much space on their bar. So, now I'm gonna show you the simple version and we're gonna upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. So what I want you to learn first is the behind the head. Boom, simple as that. Behind the head move. So we're gonna start this way up. And first of all, you're gonna place the hand in front of you, thumbs down like this, and you're just gonna throw the tin into your hand. Now what you wanna start doing with this move is getting used to throwing something next to your head. So you slowly move your hand back, keep doing this move, and you'll notice I'm not throwing it very far, I'm just moving my hand further and further back until I can't really see the catch anymore. And that's where you wanna be catching it, okay? So you start like that and you just get used to something flying behind your head and behind your, by your ear because that's the biggest thing with this move, it's the fear that something's gonna hit you in the head. And the chances are it probably will, but be careful, flare responsibly. Once you've got that one, then you can make the throw a bit bigger, okay? And then you can start upgrading a little bit so you can do one spin, okay? And then you can do two spins. Oh, that was close. Now when you're doing one spin and two spins, with the shaker that way up on the bar, so open then down, you're gonna grab the shaker by your index finger, your middle finger and your thumb, all right? Uh, and then you're gonna flip it, just one spin up, so it does one spin here and you catch it into your hand. If you wanna do what I just did there, so you get an idea of how the shaker is throwing, you can start doing that to begin with. The better you get at it, then you're just gonna start flipping it from down here up to your hand. And then again, you get, once you get better even more, oh, then you try and do two spins. Oh, you can then do it on both sides. Oh, that's tough. And you can even do it from the same hand to the same hand. All right, double spins as well. Ugh, you notice how I lean back. If the tin goes too far backwards, you lean back, all right? And then you can grab the tin. So you need to be prepared to, to move your body a little bit to grab the tin, depending on how hard or soft you've thrown that tin. <clears throat> Boom. Right, I can show you an upgrade to these on how you can add a pour into these moves as well. Okay, so the first move with the upgrade is you don't actually have to throw anything, okay? You're just gonna uh, pass the tin behind your head like this and at the same time bring the bottle up to pour. So you just come up like this, round and pour, boom, and you are done. All you're doing with this move is you're holding the shaker in what we call a tennis grip, okay, in your left hand and the bottle in your right hand. You come up at the same time like this, behind your head, and then you turn the bottle over to pour into the shaker. So you come up, follow it in behind your head, and then you come around, and then you stop the pour. The upgrade to this is that you can actually throw the shaker as we've learned in the first move. So that's that flat throw, but it's from the same hand. So left hand to left hand, boom, up behind your head, okay? And then the, the, uh, the bottle is gonna come up after that into the pour. Okay, before I go any further, there's a quick shout out to Joao Dos Santos, who used to do this pour in this bar, okay? That's what we're doing, just bringing education, history and education to the channel. So, we wanna learn how to do this thumb roll, which is uh, a push up around your thumb and grabbing it in the same position. Now, I have done a video on thumb rolls, which hopefully, if I put the link in, you can check out there. So you're holding the shaker in a tennis grip, and what you wanna learn to do is a thumb roll up behind your head. Now the trick with this is making sure your hand is far over to your shoulder so your, hand, your arm can go over your head, okay? Boom. And at the same time, you're gonna bring the bottle up to pour. So first, learn the thumb roll and then bring the bottle. So you go thumb roll, bottle, thumb roll, bottle. And then you do it at the same time. 
Boom. Finally, it's just with a throw. So you can do a single or a double spin, bring the bottle up to a pour. So double spin, pour, bam, boom. Okay, so you've got many variations on one move which you can use there. Now I'm gonna move on to the next move, which is with a straw. Now, depending on which kind of straw you have, if you have these biodegradable plastic straws, if you have these paper straws, you should be able to perform all these moves pretty simply. So, uh, what you wanna start with is the simple version of the move, which is literally throwing the straw up, a twist and a catch. So imagine you had your glass there, you're gonna throw it up, you turn your hand over, and you close all these fingers, and then you scissor catch here. So up, scissor catch. Then from there, you twist your fingers, grab with your thumb, and you can put it into your glass. So all together, it's boop, bam. Now you see I brought the straws closer together because the trick with this one is trying to get the catch between the fingers at the right position is tough, but the more you get used to your bar, the easier that's gonna be. Oh, that wasn't too bad actually. And the better you're gonna get at performing that move. What is the upgrade I hear you shouting at me? Well, I will show you. Next, we're gonna start throwing the straws a little bit. So you're gonna throw literally up right in front of you. Don't try and throw it across the bar, just up in front of you and you catch it as if you're throwing a dart. Each time you're trying to catch the straw sort of in the middle of the straw. So it's not going near the point where the customer is gonna be putting it in their mouth. So you need to learn how to flick it. Now, the way we flick this is the same as the scissor catch from the last uh, straw move. You're gonna start in that position and you're gonna hold the straw like this. And you wanna put a bit of pressure on the, your straw caddy, your straw holder like this. So when it lifts up, it kind of has that flicking motion. So as it comes up, you flick and you're just gonna catch. There's a single spin, spins around and you catch hold of it and pop it in your glass. Nice. The next upgrade is utilizing both hands. Now the trick with this is that you wanna try and keep your eye on the guest and catch the straw in the other hand. That was pretty fucking good actually, if I must say so myself. Try not to look at the catch. You wanna be keeping an eye on your customer or looking at something else. This is gonna make you look much cooler uh, and it just makes the move look much, much better. And it shows your guests that you're fully in control of what's going on around you and on your bar. So it's the same principle as before, but you're throwing across, across yourself, bam. And you're catching it in your hand. Now I'm catching it in that same grab again, scissor catch. Okay, at the beginning you can just do like a full on fist grab. So you can get used to catching it. And then you want to start doing just those simple catches. Again, you don't wanna be putting your hands over the straws too much. Now there is one more upgrade on this, which is with two straws, becomes a lot more difficult. Now the trick with two straws is, essentially you do need more space because when you flip the straws up, you want them to separate and then you can catch one with one hand and one with the other hand. Oh, that was, that was all right, a bit messy, but you get the idea. If you do have a bit more space over your bar top, you can flip them a bit higher and they'll separate a bit more in the air so that you can grab hold of them. <sighs> okay, we are using a muddler. Now I'm using one of these sort of long muddlers here. If you have one of those shorter ones, these moves will be a little bit more difficult. Uh, so you can get yourself a rolling pin or you can find one of these long muddlers. I'll try and put some links in the description below. So first one, very, very simple, is a roll. You're literally throwing it up and catching it in your other hand or you're rolling it down and letting it drop into the other hand. You can start upgrading this so you can catch it here and flip it off or you can roll it behind your back. And then you come up to start muddling the muddler in your hand like this. So palm facing up uh, and your arm bent like this. You don't wanna have your arm out straight like that. Just have your arm bent. And then you just wanna give a little nudge backwards and that will give the enough roll on the muddler to roll down your arm and catch it in your hand. Now, if you wanna start catching it in front of you, you just gotta lean your arm forward like this. So I'm moving my arm forwards and the, the muddler will fall off and catch into your left hand. If you wanna catch it behind you, you do the opposite. So you put your arm backwards, so up and back, and then it rolls off behind your back and you catch it in your other hand. You can try and do rolls up behind your head, but it is a lot more difficult with the muddler because you have to make sure it rolls all the way up the arm. But play around with it, see what you can come up with. Again, just start with the simple version uh, and then go from there. The second move 
is it's literally just a, a thumb roll around the, your thumb next to your glass, bring it into position and then start muddling. So how you perform the thumb roll is what I want you to do is you're gonna hold the muddler between these two fingers, okay, and your thumb like that. So you're gonna push with your middle finger, okay? It's gonna go around your thumb. You open up your index finger and as it comes around, you grab with your index finger. So push, grab, okay? Replace the position, push, grab, all right? Now you wanna make sure that the, the muddler end that you're gonna be muddling with is on the left. I'm using my right hand, muddler end, point it to the left. Then you're in the right position to put it into the glass and start muddling straight away. The upgrade to that would be uh, using more fingers to spin the muddler around your fingers. Now I did do a video on that many months ago with Mr. John with St. Pierre, who's actually sitting right behind the camera right now. So no pressure on me to get this correct. Um, learning how to do finger spinning uh, we said in the video, or should I say Jumble said in the video, you should start with a muddler, because if the muddler is nicely weighted, oh, look at that body. Yes! So the way this one works is you're gonna hold, imagine your hand like this, all right? You wanna put the muddler in between your little finger and your second finger, or your ring finger, and you're gonna twist, and as it twists around, this finger comes over the, the top of the muddler, and you let go of your little finger, you twist again, comes around, same thing again. You twist again. Now this one's a bit more difficult because you've got to take your finger away, let it roll all the way around, put your thumb into position and let it roll around your thumb and catch it, okay? So it looks like that, <gasps> two in a row. You can simplify this by taking away the thumb roll. So you just, you do one, two, three, and then grab. But when they get used to you performing that move, then you can add the thumb roll at the end, just as a little surprise. Okay, I've got one more upgrade for you, which uh, I've done a similar move with the spoon in a previous video. Now it's the same kind of concept where you're gonna hold the, the muddler, finger scissor, scissor, scissor grab like this. Index finger forwards, middle finger backwards. You're gonna hold like, like that, so you're pinching the hold of the muddler. You're gonna twist, turn around and around your thumb. Okay, it's like the upgrade to the thumb roll. Scissor grab down onto the bar top. Okay, you turn, look at my arm, then my hand comes underneath the muddler and you turn again. And when you get to there, you're gonna grab hold of it with your thumb. And at that point is you push it and it goes around your thumb. So, turn, 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 turn. But the motion helps the muddler come around into the position that you need it to be in. Okay, so try and do that and add that onto your, your thumb roll upgrade selection. Boom. Huh? Uh, cool. I hope you like this, boys and girls. I hope you like this video. If you do, please don't forget to give it a like, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Put your comments, questions, and suggestions into the comments box below. Uh, if you get struggle with any of these moves, please don't hesitate to put your questions into the comments box. If you're busting out these moves and practice them and nailing them behind your bar, please tag me on Instagram, Tom Dye Bartender. And uh, that's it, really. Um, try them out. Let me know how you get on. Good luck, and until next time, I'll see you then. This time you're holding the shaker in a tennis grip, okay? And you, what you want to learn to do is... <laughs> shit. <clears throat> now the trick with this move is learning the thumb roll, so you want to make sure... Ah, oh shit, it's low. Fantastic. What were those moves? I can't remember.